Uh, next, we want to invite uh, Julie Felice and all her friends at SEIU to come on up. Everyone, these are our town employees and members of Service Employees International Union. We're here to present this resolution on behalf of the board because our labor movement throughout the United States is facing some challenging times. We know that since the Dust Bowl era under President Roosevelt who implemented some of the laws to help facilitate the strengthening of labor unions throughout the entire country. And many of us, our own families, our, our parents, our grandparents were members of unions and we knew that with the union you have a better life, you have better benefits, um, wages, conditions at work, better job security. For so many different reasons, our nation owes a, a lot of gratitude to the labor movement in the United States. The eight-hour workday, uh, overtime pay, uh, job protections. But there's a, currently a case pending before the United States Supreme Court that really could have a detrimental effect on workers, not only in Monterey County, but throughout the rest of the nation. So today we just have finished approving a resolution um, um, recognizing Yeah, this is the, the labor union recognize, the resolution recognizing the labor movement, and we stand in support with them through this resolution. And we just want to read the the, uh, the last paragraph, which says the Monterey County Board of Supervisors does hereby adopt this resolution, recognizing that America needs unions and stands in solidarity with working families across Monterey County and the United States. Let's give a big round of applause to all our friends at SEIU. I want to thank everybody for coming and honoring the, the women of, of Monterey County, but that's a tribute to all women, including some of our board members that are up here standing with me. I appreciate all our support. I appreciate uh, the board being there for us when we needed their help. I want to read something off, and uh, as president of the chapter, county chapter of SEIU 521, we represent 3,000 employees in our chapter, and we represent many in our region, the Monterey Bay region. On behalf of the union and our members, we thank you for recognizing America's needs for unions. It is important that unions continue the middle class uh, the salary, wages, and all of these things, the benefits that go for being a union in America. We benefit not only the women and men and all members of the community who can support our unions. Now, more than ever, we need to remember the value of the community that all the union workers provide. We provide many services. You see doctors up here with us on our board. We see nurses registered at the Trinidad Hospital. We see social workers. We also see employment and training up here with us. We are valued professional people, and we value our community. We thank you for standing with working families across Monterey County, the United States, as we fight to maintain the middle class dream for everyone. The fight will go on. And the work is yet to come for all our members, for Maui County and throughout the United States. We set the standard for everyone, even for management. And I thank you all, and thank you, Chair. Thank you very much. Hi, good morning. My name is Pat Butcher. I'm the Vice President of our local chapter and a proud employee at Natividad Medical Center. I've been there for over 19 years as a registered nurse and had a lot of opportunities. But everybody here, at standing here with me, we have all been in the trenches together over the years, over contracts, over issues for workers. We have rallied and met with our supervisors when we need to. We've worked with our administrators when we need to uh, to make sure that we continue to provide for our co-workers as well as the residents of Monterey County. I can't thank you enough for this honor and thank you, Mr. Leha. Thank you very much. 
I just wanted to point out, and Julie kind of alluded to this, that while the county has been moving towards recognizing women for their uh, valuable work, the union has also been making that transition. Uh, Julie Felice is our president, third term. Uh, Pat Butcher, first term as vice president. And you can see we have many women sitting on the board. So we are moving in that direction, also recognizing the, the value and the hard work that women contribute. And I'm sure that's going to continue to grow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.